Steph Curry, in his last six games, has scored 40, 37, 24, 40, 25, and 50. He is averaging 36 points. He has knocked down nine three-pointers in four of those games. And in that six-game stretch, he is shooting 52% from the field. And the Warriors have won five out of the last six games in that stretch. He has knocked down 85 three-pointers in the first 15 games this season. He just broke his own previous three-point record in that same time frame of games to start the season. I mean, for God's sakes, the game against the Nets the other day, he had Kevin Durant and James Harden speechless on the bench when he was just putting on a show against the Nets in Brooklyn. Steph was getting MVP chance in road venues. He was getting MVP chance in the Barclays Center. He was getting MVP chance in Cleveland. Like, these are MVP chance outside of the Chase Center in San Francisco. And I think it kind of goes without saying at this point that he's without a doubt the greatest shooter of all time in NBA history. But instead of me making an argument to cement that claim of Steph Curry being the greatest shooter that we've ever seen in NBA history, I'll just say this. Cherish it. It's that simple. We will never see another basketball player like Steph Curry ever again in NBA history. There may be others that come down the line that can rival what Steph has accomplished in his career. But they will never be able to outdo him. Steph Curry at this point, he's an anomaly. And he has done more to transform the game of basketball than anyone in this generation has, even more so than LeBron James since Michael Jordan. I've always believed that Jordan innovated the modern style of basketball back in his time. And many have tried to emulate his style with most of them failing or just falling short. The only exception to that was Kobe Bryant, where he was the one that you could honestly say he genuinely rivaled MJ's style. But look at Steph right now. Look at the influence that he's brought to the game in real time. Trey Young, Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, Jason Tatum, and many up-and-coming NBA stars all have elements of what Steph has brought to the game. Yet none of them will ever surpass what Steph Curry has accomplished in his career. I just have to reiterate the point once again. Enjoy it. Steph turns 34 in March. So when you look at Steph's career, you probably think the guy's got a couple prime years left. And this is not a situation where he's 28 years old and he's still got probably 10 years to go. And you're probably looking at a scenario where you've got maybe a good three, four years of like prime Curry left. But the guy's a machine. And until he hangs them up for good, Steph's just going to continue to marvel. He's going to continue to wow fans for as long as he's on the court. He's going to keep the Warriors in championship contention. And you could honestly say at this point, he's going to continue to transcend the game that really only a couple NBA players throughout the entire history of the game could say that they genuinely transcended the game unlike anybody that came before them. 